one and another one. Check, 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 check me out, people. I go by the most underrated voice, Mr. Do You TV. You already know how we give it up on the number one underground independent music radio show. Do you on air? Let the people know who we got on the line right now. Oh, y'all yeah, already know. It's your girl, C3. I do that battle rap thing. Queen of the Ring, URL, Chrome 23, man. About to battle Charlie Clips next Friday, man. Congratulations, Charlie Clips, I'm battling it. Thank you. I'm battling him in um, the city next week. Uh, Let me see what's the name of the club. Dukes NYC, 59 West okay. 21st Street. You got a link they could buy some tickets if they want to pop out? Yeah, yeah. Just hit my Instagram, the real C3. That's Remy Ma, Chrome 23 Battle League. So it's going to be turnt, and it's a fire card, man. How long you been battle rapping? 11, 11 years? Mm. 11 years. So this is not something that just happened yesterday. Nah, not at all, man. Not at all. I guess the last year too, though, shit just went up, up, up. So now a lot more people know my face. What do you feel was one of your biggest battles that made people really recognize that you built for this shit as a female? Because I know a lot of people were sleeping on females with battle rap at one point. I think my biggest one really, it wasn't about the opponent. It was about the tournament when I just won the championship shit. And what was that, like February, March? When I won the 25 uh -huh. bands, I think that was super big because it kind of made me stand out from the rest of the girls. Because there was other top tier girls in the tournament, but they got the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? How many, I, how many girls were you competing against? I think I think it was like 16 of us to start off with. Damn. That's fine. That's what I said, 25 Damn. bands. But it was like 16 of us to start it off with. Something like that, I think. And how many people you had to battle? Uh, it was supposed to be like four battles, four or five battles, something like that. But uh, one of my opponents ended up backing out, so I ended up battling three people. Shout out um, to her, she got me closer to that <coughs> 25 and she didn't show up. <laughs> Which league do you feel is like, I don't want to say the most better, but the most better. The, I, see I would say, I mean, of course, Remy League is new, but it's like, it, it's, it's up there now at this point as far as one of the hottest leagues. But of course, Smack, Smack is like, the hottest league for battle rap. You know. What leagues you feel is like really supporting female? Remy, right now, she's like the main one. Queen of the Ring is still uh, still around. Like, then URL be throwing all uh, the girls in their shit too. Smacking them definitely be fucking with the girls. Let's talk about it. Charlie Clips. Like, this is a big one right here. He, yeah, he I going, ain't Like, I think it was probably, at first when she, like, when she said it, she was like, Clips. I'm like, all right, I'm fucking with it. Like, you know, but I be moving, so it didn't dawn in my brain. I think finally, like, last week, it was like, bitch, you gotta let you, this is your biggest battle. I think you need to, <laughs> like, you two relax. Like, I like I literally said this to Sorry. myself, like, you two relax, girl, this is bitch, hello? You better get, you better get crazy, fuck wrong with you. So, like, these last few days, I've just been, like, kind of locked in, getting ready, man. This, this is definitely my biggest battle. See, yeah. I, I was at your battle, I was at your battle with Tayron. Oh, what? Early. I would say before this, that was probably my my uh, other biggest battle other than the tournament. So yeah. What helped you get into your mode to you. when it's time to battle somebody? Really, like, well, lately I just be wanting to kick people ass because I know I can rap. You know what I'm saying? But really, the motivation sometimes come from uh, just studying them, seeing what they do, and then any any competitor get that hunger. Like, I'm better than you. I can rap better than you. Like, you're fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? So. Shout out to y'all for the follow. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. But yeah, so that really be pushing me too. And then a lot of times they talk mad shit. They just talk too much shit, entirely too much shit. So I'm like, all right, now I'm really going to fuck you up. So yeah. You like the, how you like the new generation of battle rappers? You feel like they got to work as hard as y'all or they got like a, a red carpet out if they just got like a good two, three fire battles for them? Um, a little bit of both. It's, it's a little bit easier for them now because shit is already set up. Like, battle rap has grown so much at this point, and the content is needed so much, and there's so much money out there now. If you knew when you fire and you handle shit correctly, you could easily catapult. Like, they, they could easily catapult if they do the right thing. But the problem with the newbies is they don't want to learn, though. That'd be the problem. Like, the rest of us, like, we had to, like, really go through different times and different stages of battle rap to where we know how to work any stage. And a lot of these new ones, they come in, like, I got it, I can rap, I got it. I'd be like, 
they, all they right, you got your rap, but they got it all how many people going to be in there? Who is you battling? Is it a stage? Is it a ring? What is it? Are y'all using mics? Like, you got to <clears> think of all that, because that shit ain't just rapping. That shit is theater. Like, you got to really work the crowd. That's that like, theater. that shit is like control, theater mixed with doing stand-up comedy or some shit. Like, you just... I've had a battle. You just want to just smack the shit out of one of them for the shit they said. Like, <laughs> how the fuck they find it out? Um, like, who told this bitch that shit? <laughs> Nigga, you, you want to know which one like probably made me feel like that the most when the bitch said she came to 40 nobody knew who i was and then said some somebody said my father was a bitch and my father was pussy exactly your not, face is exactly not Judy Ju. <laughs> <laughs> not Judy Ju. right i'm like okay i get it this shit is wrestling this shit not real <laughs> this shit can't be real. So, so why did that hurt you so much if you knew it wasn't real? Because for one, the reason why she even said that, I don't know if you remember, um, they had threw like a little battle event in 40. I'm so at first, that. yeah, so at first I wasn't going to come, but I think freaky somebody called me like, yo, e heart over here. And I know we about to battle, so I know how battle rappers are. If she would have got through that whole event and didn't see me, she would have still used that angle. So not only did I come, nigga, I was over there in front of both. You know how I go. I'm standing outside yeah. with everybody. I don't want to say too much, but I'm standing on the set. I'm at with the everybody. White, at, the, at the White House. Yeah. Then when we, we fucking uh, walk to the, uh, we walk to the yellow poles. Literally, it's like 50 of us walking together. Think about it, dude. It's like a battle in the hood. It's me, Freaky, every, everybody. You get what I'm saying? So it's like. You really go a lot like that. You literally see me walking with like fucking 50 people. Like, come on. Like, so I, I really went out my way to be seen. And this bitch still getting a ring and lie. I'm like, how dare you? Like, wow, this shit is crazy. And I asked her about it after the battle. She was like, it's battle rap. So the date for that battle with Charlie Clips is again? It's December 8th. It's next Friday. Not this Friday coming up, but the following one. Following one. They could go to your link in your bio and they mm -hmm. can get some tickets right now. Just go to the Chrome 23 page on Instagram or just go to chrome23.com. Uh, type it all out though. Chrome23.com. Grab your tickets. They ain't even that much bread. They like $40, $45. Hell, hurry up and get them before they sell out at that price. But yeah, it's up. What else you want to see that's on that card? Uh, shit. Mo mostly the whole card is fire. I mean, I, they got some new girls, but I'm still looking forward to see how they do. But. The rest of the card is super fire. Jazz is on the card versus Big K for the Battle Rap Heads. Uh, QB and E Heart, which is two of the original girls that should have been battled years ago. So that battle is crazy. Then you got Coffee and Couture. Coffee is the new fire girl. Couture is one of the uh, older fire girls who don't really come outside like that. So to, to see her pop back out is crazy. So yeah, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be a uh, eventful night. Everybody coming to turn up. Everybody got a point to prove. <laughs> Especially you, nigga. Hey, you're fucking right. I ain't about to go up there and die, nigga. We about to rap. What the fuck are you talking about? Y'all heard it. Ain't about to just kill, kill me, nigga. Fuck that. <laughs> Coming to rap, so, rap. You got any merch that people could buy from you? Like, how can people support what you doing? Oh, not yet, but January is coming. My album is dropping, so all I ask you to do right now is follow me on Instagram. All I need you to do is hit the follow button. I don't want your money. None of that. Hit the follow button and just stay tuned. The album is about to drop. The web series is about to drop. It's a lot going on, so just follow and stay tuned. Especially all my queens. Y'all know I'm queens to the heart, man, so yeah.